Okay guys, I want to make a quick update. I told you that the old charger here, this Vivor, Vivor, this is a 60, a D, a DC to DC 60 amp charger. I just finished wiring it up. This is the biggest problem with this, if you can see it, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I had to actually cut these posts in order for them to even fit. This is just a, a four gauge wire. These aren't really all that thick. So um, that was the first problem. Second problem is when I put this unit on 60 amps, it doesn't, um, it, it only runs for like one minute then shuts the whole charger off for three minutes. So I think there's something wrong with it. Um, however, I tested it for the past week on the low power 30 amp mode and that seems to work good. So I've got this permanently wired to 30 amp. I ran this jumper wire over to the positive input side of our new Renogy 60 amp DC to DC charger. And then I ran the main power wire jumper right here, runs over to the uh, ignition switch here. Um, and then, uh, then I've got a low power wire running that goes around, it goes up to the front of the truck. Um, uh, to one of the switches and then we've got our ignition wire that also runs to one of the switches in the truck that I showed you earlier um, So basically now I'm gonna have 60 amps of power all the time and if I turn off the uh, The second switch in, on the truck that runs the uh, low power mode It's only going to put the Renogy into low power mode uh, or sorry if I yeah so if I shut that switch off, it'll take it out of low power mode and I'll be getting 60 amps from this one and 30 amps from this, so a total of 90 amps. Um, I think this alternator will be just fine with that. Uh, so we're gonna do some testing with it on 60 amps and then I'll do some testing like as if I'm driving, I might flick it up to 90 amps. I think that's okay, but I do feel like I'm pushing the alternator to its limits. But I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I did say that I was gonna make an update on it. Um, I know it's not the neatest. I gotta tidy up some of these wires back here. But this is the current setup. And these two wires here are for solar. I, um, I have not hooked up the solar yet, but we do have the solar charger wired. Uh, it's ready to go. Um, and then if you didn't know before, that switch, when it's on the right, it's running to the charger. Uh, so it'll power both chargers. The bottom switch is to cut the power off from the batteries. Now this red wire right here runs straight through the floor that runs to the batteries. Then you've got one more red wire, as you can see, runs over to the left side. So if you turn this switch and move the arrow to the left, it'll connect the lithium batteries directly with the power wire from the batteries. This would be in case you needed to jump start it, uh, jump start the truck because the starter batteries are dead. Uh, lastly, the very top one would combine these two together, which would be stupid. Um, so in this case, you can't use the top one. So I've got a uh, charger off, and then lastly, uh, uh, lithium batteries to the starter batteries. Um, and uh, this is a 200 amp breaker. Uh, we have a uh, 80 amp breaker uh, there. Uh, there's a few other uh, breakers and fuses wired up. Um, but this is the current setup. Just wanted to show you guys a quick little update of everything. All right, don't mind me, I'm drenched in sweat. It's, it's really hot and humid out here in Florida. Um, so I just showed you some pictures uh, of, of some testing there with the charger in 90 amp mode and the charger in 30 amp, uh, sorry, a 60 amp mode uh, with the AC on, with the AC off. So in 60 amp mode, uh, the truck's fine, uh, AC on or off. Uh, the 90 amp is too much on the alternator. Uh, it works a lot better if the AC's off, as you see in the photos, but probably not a good idea to run that for a long time. So uh, the next step I'm going to do, uh, this is probably going to be a couple months. I'm not going to rush into it because I am going to do solar. Um, I am going to swap out the alternator on the truck with a higher output uh, and just double check over the wires and make sure they can handle that, um, uh, that, that uh, draw power. Um, 
you know, though, in the meantime, this is good because now I'm getting 60 amps continuously and both chargers are running at half of its power, 30 amps, which is going to reduce the strain on those two chargers. So I think this will work out pretty good. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. And uh, I hope you guys like this little quick update and uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe for the review video on that AC unit. Take it easy, guys.